welcome back. Time for some more Tears of the Kingdom gameplay. Let's see. Last time I left off, I was. Yeah, Sky Islands beat the second uh, century boss. Something dropped here. So I guess it despawned from last time. I still have no idea what to do with those things that, that drop. Over here we had a flying machine. Stained moonshine. That's fine. I have batteries for days. Shooting star. Nice. Whatever happened to the other one that I had over there? Also, what's this place? Not the goblins. Hello. I am one of you. Tonight, we dance. Scared? I'm just plundering your village. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 30. Sorry, Lois, besides those things, which I need to. Poor dude. Trust me, I'm gonna trade that trust. I'm 
monster. Sup? Mind me. their attacks of that one. Oh, <laughs> 
Minefield. Furnison. Ah. Huh. This is what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we'd get a drive to a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control? What kind of fools do you take us for? Oh. You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson, Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of all Zona devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true, we haven't figured out how to control these vehicles, but that's why we asked you here. We've, we're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. Uh? So what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Hmm, you found nothing among these Zonai devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Tarrytown work. Ah! Hey, hey, hey! I'm standing right here! Don't cut me out of this little chit-chat. Didn't you say that those Zoe thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends? You're trying to tell me something that old and that old and run down is still useful? Please! Oh. We did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't you, it you who taught me that, Shibon? Oh. Huh. Fine. If Talia wants to help, then help is what we'll do. I... They are indeed everywhere. Uh... What could be powering these Zona devices? Could there really be a tiny spirit inside? No, that doesn't seem likely. Ah. Oh. Ah, apologies, I was lost in thought. The Zonai devices here all, all from, fell from the sky. I've surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quantity anywhere above Tarrytown. Mm. My research into practical application is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilization for a long time. To us, Zonai obsessed research team members, this place is paradise. Ah. We're free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Hmm. For so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? Yep. Nice. Yep. <laughs> What's the roller coaster? Hello. <laughs> Son and done. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Are you looking for the entrance to Tarrytown? If you're going there, the rail car right in front of you should be come in handy. <laughs> it's a suspended cart that will take you from this workshop to Tarrytown, like Son and done. It's President Hudson's pride and joy. It doesn't cost anything to use, so use it whenever you like. Mm. If you want to move or stop the rail car, just strike it anyway, directly. Mm. You see the buildings atop the cliff? That's Tarrytown. That's where the business desk is for Hudson Construction, where I work. Uh -huh. Hudson Construction is a company that handles assembly of Lookout Landing, and the Skyview Tower is the name of you. President Hudson always saying things like, There's nothing I can't make. Anywho, 
If you're headed to Terrytown, use the Relicar. Mm. Lately, folks have been into affixing decorations to weapons and shields and such. Turns out most of them can't deconstruct what they're done. So my brother Pellison started a business to do it for them. Uh -huh. He gets it done. Son and done. Give it a shot sometime. Slowest roller coaster ever. I'm ready to use the real ah. car. rock belongs to me, I'm not going to give it away for free. But if you really want it, I would consider selling it to you. Tarrytown. More like Quest Town. I wonder if his headset was making me do that. Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though I do understand, I know you're worried about Madison moving. Minari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. Oh, this is President Hudson. <laughs> nice. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just playing on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. <sighs> Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. Mm. You're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Huh? Ah, a customer! Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But, I'm so sorry. We're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you! Ooh. Look who it is, it sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Tarrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. <sighs> My little Madison. <sighs> Hudson, you've got to get it together. Oh. Sorry, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. Oh. I'm going back to work now... Ronson. But don't worry, I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. I see. Sun and done. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. Dream home is the envy of everyone. Every son. Oh, excuse me, do you have business with Hudson Construction? If we need to speak with the president, he and his wife are a little busy right now. Just between you and me, it sounds like there's a bit of conflict in the family. You see, Hudson and his daughter, they... Oh, her name is Madison. Lovely girl. Anyway... Wait, let me start over. Because of his wife's village customs... Oh, she's Gerudo, by the way. Her name is Ronson. Hudson recruited her when he built this village, so... Oh no! Look at me talking about things that are none of my business. I'm a complete stranger, no less. 
please forget everything I just said. <laughs> Gospel. Savara! Hey, mister, are you a friend of Papa's? He was gone for a long time, but now he's back home. I'm gonna be moving soon, so I gotta make sure I play with Papa and every son, else a whole bunch while I still can. Why are they replacing one with son? Oh my, it's a traveler, darling. Terratown has grown quite popular after all. <laughs> it's all thanks to President Mudson. Ah. Mudson, darling, not Mudson. We should forget a founder. You shouldn't forget a founder of Tarrytown. Oh. He's the president of Hudson Construction who built this town. Ah. Eh? Didn't they open an office around here? Ah. Over there, darling. It's the place with the signs they always mistake for Hudson and say hello to. Sorry about that. My husband has been getting more forgetful lately. Never mind us. Please enjoy your visit. Thank you, I shall. Ugh, come on! Can't you see I'm playing a game with Madison? She says a special training for dealing with something called a vow. I think these vow things are some kind of monsters or something. I guess I better watch out for them too. <laughs> I'm a vow. Hello, I'm coming in. Don't mind me breaking and entering. <laughs> Although I guess I didn't break anything, just entered. Lovely little house here. Hope you don't mind me snooping everywhere. Gotta be a crock on these rooftops. What's wrong, Merle? Oh, hey. My dog is whining. It's okay. Good girl. So, you got a chance to talk with President Hudson, huh? I was just out here waiting my turn to go chat with him. But I ended up falling asleep. Oh. I came to here to clear out, help clear out the Zonai devices. I had runes that fell all over the workshop. Heard they couldn't use a hand. I'm still pretty tired. I think I'll take another little nap before I introduce myself. <sighs> oh man, now I want to sleep. <laughs> Knows Madison wrote for her move. Note number one. Say the Gerudo greetings clearly, smooth, and safe. Uh, smoothly and easily. <laughs> Good morning, it's Savada, not Sabata. Boys are Vo, not B, no B. Grandma is Vaba, V and B, so mean. And thank you is Sarks. Sarkso. Note number two. The chief's pet is special. The chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia is a special sand seal. She can read people's fortunes. <laughs> fortunes. Note number three. No talking to Vo. Once I go to Mama's hometown, I won't be allowed to talk to Vo anymore. Mama says it's a Gerudo custom. I guess I'll just need to talk to all the Vo before I get there. Note number four. Must not. I must, 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 must not cry. No crying. I see. Hurry here, folks, no cry. What is he going to do? 
We were so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, <laughs> It's son and done. And here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. <sighs> but when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. <sighs> I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the... <sighs> Sorry. All the best parts of me and my wife, R Ronson. But Madison is... Well, soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Oh. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're very, they're very young, but when they start to become more... aware of the world around them. Someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for a Gerudo to spend time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I wanted to give her a big send-off, but... I didn't really realize this would be so hard for me. Ah, sorry I had to listen to me go on and on and like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. Ugh. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave. But I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too, while well, preparing Madison for the move. She's so busy, she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. I see. Fear not, for I, the Bacoblin, will spend time with your daughter. Ooh, a bell. Oh, I don't have a bell. Yeah, ha ha! Yeah. Nice. I got it. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, I have it. Nice. That's two more hearts. That reminds me of an animation I saw one time, where uh, it's like a parody animation of Link like having 20 hearts in his body, <laughs> and he was just like an amalgamation. It was hilarious. What's this? Oh yeah, is that a fuck hoblin? Oh, it's that mask, so sorry. It's hard to see your face with my eyeballs once again, and on such a pretty, pretty day, no less. <laughs> you met again with my younger brother, Colton, didn't you? I can smell it. He's a bit eccentric, I know, I know. But I hope you'll find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. <laughs> ah! Where are my manners? I regret to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. <laughs> But once I had saved up a tiny little nest omelet, I gave out salt to my younger brother. Now I have purchased this plot of dirt land, so I can, at last, make real a dream of dreams since I was a wee Kilton. <sighs> Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy, and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. <laughs> yeah, I'm a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monsters? Disgusting. But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know. Monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it that I can't deny. But they're so, they're also misunderstood. 
the way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. And so I'll educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. This is my dream. For my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all land. Hudson! Hee 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 Ho ho! As soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back! I promised you a monstrous spectacle, the likes of which no one has ever seen before! What's the point of this? I wonder. Some language I can't read. A stump. <laughs> Part of the intrusion. That's the company's storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking it inside? Ah, I see. Fear not, I will break into your house and fix it for you. Oh, hey, Madison. Good morning is Savada. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... Huh? Don't fight me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away from my big journey. I'm doing all the studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too. So I've made it my miss son to memorize any, as many words as I can. <laughs> hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing could be better. I'm about to go give a lesson to Granny Minori. We should come too. After some instruct sons for me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> for this less son, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. I see. Oh, might as well go. <laughs> son and <no. laughs> As they say. It's lesson time! <gasps> Follow me, it's this direct sun. Hi! Granny Minori, Savak! <laughs> oh my, you're in a good mood today. Madison, is it time for another lesson? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> of course! I have a special case, son, too, because a new student is joining the class. Okay, now pay attention. Granny Minori, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is a Gerudo word for Granny? Mm. Granny and Gerudo is. Eh. Hmm. What was it? Vada or Vaba? Vada, I think. Or was it Vaba? Vada or Vaba? Vaba. <laughs> Ding ding ding, that's right! You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before? Ah, oh, yes, Fama. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now, there's one more guru speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee, well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I'm surprised she didn't say lonesome. I feel better knowing Mama will be okay. But now I need to talk of think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. <laughs> I've got it! Papa's always so busy, so I'll just make it my miss son to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride the rail cart to the job site, where he does all his work. Well, if you insist. 
Oh, Madison. She's had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mom and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. But then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Hagi was put in charge of Veil Car, it's been a whole lot better to catch her ride. Might as well pay for it, I guess. Cringe. Sorry. I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock has given me the creeps. I've got to hurry and find some sucker to... Huh? Heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small fee to use a rail car. I'll collect that for you. <gasps> it's 20 ru rupees, no exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited rides. That's a bar bargain. How about it? <laughs> oh, are you interested in the rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole... Uh, I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> but if you're interested, I would consider selling it for a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? In that case, how about 80 rupees? That's a one-time only deal, just for you. A shrine quest, I see. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Mm. Are you trying to sell random junk for the outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60, no, 50 rupees of more than pr fair price. But, but, I already said an absolutely fair price, and he might have... Okay, no need for this turn wife look. <sighs> well, what do you say? It's a real deal at just 50 rupees. And what happens while I pass? Oh. Of course he isn't going to buy it after you insulted him at such a high price. Hudson made this town so that everyone could live here in peace. If you do anything to harm that beautiful vision, you won't get any away with it. You're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Ah. <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> what? He's asking about this weird rock I found? It's my lucky day. Whoa. That's great! You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you've made it wise purchase. And now this rock belongs to you. No refunds. <gasps> I'll place it in the back, for, in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. I see. <gasps> ah, you again. <gasps> I charge a fee to use the rail car, but you'll only need to pay once. <laughs> Very good, you're all set. Yes, profit profits. Ah. The controls are simple, just give it a whack for either to start or stop it. You're free to use it as you please. Ooh. Combine the word cringe and bitch. Looks like you're hard at work. Huh? Who are you? This is a Hudson construction site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Uh... Not to mention the falling ruins. These are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. <laughs> Hudson Construction is the number one construction company. And they don't only do buildings like the ones that look at landing. They also build machinery, like the Skyview Towers. Amazing! And just wait until you hear about their latest invention. This balloon. 
can't believe it, is ma it is, was made using Zenai devices? Eh? Pure has taken a keen interest in all Zenai devices found here. So she asked Hudson to make this balloon just for the Zonai survey team to use. Thanks to this thing, the scope of our research has broadened considerably. Ahem. Anyway, as I was saying, we do critical work here. Uh... No civilians allowed. Oh! More Zonai artifacts fell off fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. Look, see that? Only three have been found on the surface. To someone on the Zonai survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible! Ahem. I got a little carried away. Anyway, people are working here, so please give them some space. Ooh. If you're heading to Tarrytown, that rail car is to the east is the quickest route. Dummy, 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 dummy. Why does this look like bombs? <laughs> hey there, you just passing through? Mind if I yammer at you for a sec? I've heard things have gotten pretty bad in Goron City. The workers aren't working, including my pals at Unobaco, who live to work. Do you know what's going on over there? I'm worried. <coughs> Never heard of Goron City. Uh. It's home to all Gorons, located northwest of here in the Elden region. If you look off that way, you can see Death Mountain. Goron City is at the base of it. But lately, the mountain's been looking kind of... different. Makes a fellow uneasy, you know. Hmm. Aside from that, I've also been hearing bothersome some things about the Gorons back home. I'm so worried I can barely work. See, we Gorons are a friendly and hard-working sort. We never get up to any kind of trouble. But I'm told even pals of Unibaco have stopped production. Something's just not right. <laughs> That's the mine team founded by our wonderful President Unibo, or Prez for short. If you see someone wearing a blue uniform with a pickaxe logo on it, they work for Unibaco, like me. <laughs> Normally we'd be off mining ore out of caves near Goron City. But lately, a bunch of zoning devices fell down in the area. I heard the folks out there needed help clearing it all out, so I came to pitch in. <sighs> I've been away for a while, and things have gotten back bad back home. Just what's happened over there? Sus indeed. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this one we could go here? Rocks in the area. Sets the big one. Oh, I see what that is. Oh, what's this? A hole. Might as well go in the hole. Discovery. Damn it. Set him around. Wait. 
Are you interested in this too? Oh. Look at this. It seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get things out. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the people. Uh. But what is it? And where did it fall from? Well, obviously, it's something to put zonite charges in. on our charges. Zona devices inside this thing? What? I think, yes! I think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery, probably. And contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Terrytown. Cockpit Village in Nakluda, south of here, has one. And there's one in the southwest, too, at Dig Dog Bridge, near the entrance of the Gruta region. Uh... Could it be? That the types of zone devices inside each area's contraptions are different? Ah. Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel the need to ceremoniously award you for your big discovery. How very simple ceremonious. Its rare was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties are something of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plant in Kalkariku Village that's to the south of here in Nakluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Ah. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again. Ah, I stuck out a sticky stick. It's a hard life for us. Oh, something else in here. Cool. 
Yep. What was over here? Nothing in this hole. Hey, you're the guy I met in the village. I finally introduced myself all proper to Prison Hudson. Ah. He told me they do not need help, and it's way more help than I anticipated. Got some good sleeping in, and ready to do some heavy lifting. Are you here are you here to help out too? If you do, watch out for the holes that made while I was working. You can follow right in. I see. Figure out a use for the wheel locks on our device, but what else can we do with these things? Hmm. Oh, hey there. You here to check up on me? Yeah. It's nice for you to come all the way to the construction site, but I'm alright. I just hope it inspires Madison to see your papa working hard. Anyway, I've been looking at ways to make use of my devices that have fallen around here. It's all part of this developmental project, and so I hope doing with the folks of the Zone of Survey Team. Yeah. Well, for starters, the, these those balloons with Zona, the Zona de survey team is using, we made them. You see, there's a Zona device that floats when you add heats. We attach a basket to these things, and then folks can jump in and go for a ride. And right now, we're working on these vehicles that use a wheel lock device, but this device rotates automatically. Truthfully, we've got the vehicle base down, but safety and handling is still an issue. Can't say they're practical yet. Ooh. We set aside the northern end of the construction site for vehicle developments. If you're curious about that stuff, chat with Furnison. She's the survey team member in charge over there. Ah, but she'll have to wait. She's busy working with some ex experts to be invited to help out. Is that so? Didn't your daughter come over here? Now. What? Oh, um, you're not with Hudson Construction, are you? I guess if he's here, he must be involved somehow. Oh. 
The name is Ferguson. I'm working with Hudson on Zona Device Research Project. It's a pleasure to meet you. In fact, right now we're pr prototyping new vehicles. <gasps> Unfortunately, we've run into a bit of a problem. We haven't found a Zona Device capable of controlling the vehicles. We tried all the dices in Terrytown, but none of them worked. We even brought in a couple of top-notch Garuda racers to get their advice, but I'm afraid they're th made things worse. <laughs> oh, what is this? I've never seen a Zona device like this before. But I don't think I can do anything with it. Not like with like this, anyway. I wish there was a way we could use it. <laughs> Try on the vehicle prototype there so we can see how it works. Sure then. <laughs> Let's see, is there any stick? <laughs> Aha! Huh, so that's how you set it up. Yes, yes. Now I see if it could be used to steer something. Could you come here for a minute? I have a favor to ask. Ah! Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? Ah! I don't get it. That weird thing is going to make that huge contraption move. See all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. What? Aha! If we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Mm. Let's see. Hmm, I think I flipped the hitch switches here and here, and yes! Ah! Ta-da! It's a test drive, of course, you see? Well, let's put a light that disappears when you touch them, so here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started with the time limit. Do that, and we'll call it test drive for success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But if this device works, <laughs> we'll have built another new device, and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like you to give it a try. Yeah. Then let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. Oi. Now, let me quickly remind you of the rules. It's simple, really. To touch all the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. Yeah. Oh, and don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. <laughs> Finally, things are getting interesting around here. You better believe I'll be keeping a close eye on your technique. Mm. Hurry. There has to be other lights. There's no way that it's, there's that much time if that's all you have to do. Really? Ah! I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah! Whew. Technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tally? <laughs> No one who loves racing more could watch that and not feel excited. Eh? We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out the Zonai device's full capabilities. And, uh, I'm counting you to help me out. Here, please consider this down payments. Oh, nice. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> you're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Nice. There's a sleepover ticket for a stable. The closest one to here is probably a South Oculus stable. Oh. <sighs> mm. Must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our product. I hope you're as so excited about it as I am. Yeah. Raise products. Ah. Hmph. 
see. So basically I should rest and then come back. That's what you're saying. What's that? Ah, it's one of the night things. Where's the tower? Right there. and all your stuff. <laughs> Dazzling. Is that a 
rock? Yes, yeah, rock. Splash root. Okay, though, because I have a Moblin helmet on. Amber, huh? Bakabo. They really are just vibrant out there. And I'm just like, let me interrupt this. Where are the toenails that I just got? Ooh, a bomb. Must be 
all the way over here. <laughs> yeah, I happened to run into Hestu once. Done it. A firelight stone. better than this, so... Did you forget that I existed? Die to fall damage to that with that attack? I never knew. Silent of Shrooms. I want to try some shrooms. It's not surprising. <laughs> How did they get me from so far away? Ah, oh, that's why. Could 
not so far away. I forgot that the, uh, those guys live on land too. Basically, there's just a waiting game. Oh. They're like h harder shulkers. Oh. Oh. Because they don't open up if you're very close to them. <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> I love my pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin spice and everything nice, for so to say. Oh, nice. 27 fuse attack power, wow. What do you oh. use luminous oh. stone for? Besides selling. Yeah, that tree. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. Tony Hall. <laughs> Tony Hall. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 I bet you do. Mr. Hall. <laughs> this guy looks so creepy. Oh. Oh. Come back anytime. Jumped onto my horse with a backflip. <laughs> nice. Ow. Ow. They done did me an ouchie. <laughs> How far back was I? True. It was pretty sick. Ha <laughs> ha 
Ow! <laughs> Jesus Christ. This dude's strong. He's killing me with one swing. Honestly, if I just don't die, it's easy. Ow, what the hell? That's a strong arrow. You see, I keep not doing what you recommend me to do, which does not get hit, which is why I'm losing. <laughs>
That's why they're because the Malvins have them. good. What do I have in here? I can drop this. I'm just gonna have a little weapon, which is this guy. Well, Therefore, I can get rid of this. <laughs> Steak. Parsons those eventually. Yeah. 
Good thing for you, I have a carriage. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let us be on a field trip. With Link? No way! Cruise it on down Bay Street. <laughs> Strong girl.
Might have to take my dog out soon, she keeps whining. I might also just be like upset that my sister and brother in law are gone. Yeah. <laughs> Once it turns out 9 o'clock, I'll take her out. Yeah. Seven up ones. I'm probably not going to make this. that green thing I just saw. Charge, where are you? All oh, over here. A lot of mushrooms.
After this tower, I'm going to take the dog out. close to each other. How does one deal with the loop? Shock? Yeah. Nope, not that either. Splash. Yeah. Oh, it is splash. Nice. So basically water. Charge the switch. <laughs> That'll never get old. <laughs> there it is this time. Oh, there's also that. I did do it. That's what we in the business like to call trial and error. <laughs> Ah, 
that's a big part. Low battery. Did it, read it. <laughs> Flood device. Double as fast. Yes. 
like that were flying. Wendy, Michael, John, Tinkerbell, come on! Hey, was there no chests in this area? I suppose not. I, I crashed the plane. There's probably a chest somewhere in, in a pie and I just missed it. Say lovey. for a walk. I'll be your bear.
I have returned. I... I get my Boeing from 747. Also, wow, what is this place? It's very nice looking. Oh, this is Zora's domain. Shields do I have? All night shields. Nice. Oh, gross. I'm in the muddy water. Darn. Eh, three ain't bad. No, two actually. Sploosh again. Sploosh. Yeah. <laughs> 
The mud, the mud of truth. <laughs> oh, it's sign, dude. Zora's pre papega The best prince.
tired of those. He's off. Like my disguise is very d disguising. Ah, <laughs> oh, I just meant to go slower. I love it how you spelt it, Lameo. <laughs> and Baka.
that's a buoy. <laughs> Please, I fucking like ban you. chest instead. Also, what's this? What's that fan? I'll probably make this thing go up. Hip. charge it this thing. Probably. And then put it over there. these two with this thing. Thank God. I got stuck in here.
Thank you, thank you. Brian Crab. Get back up. A ladder. Is our prince here? That vile sludge. Ah. Uh. I'm so sorry. Everyone's been treated now, but we have used up all of the splash fruits. Mm. There are more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. Uh? You have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Most importantly, I am grateful that everyone is alright. Now if we could only do something about that statue. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You there, are you a traveler? I am sorry that I did not notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Zora's domain is in troubled times at present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Mm. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in the sludge. Such a shame, as this particular statue is so incredibly important to the Zora of the domain. Mm. We were just discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. I apologize that I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please to make yourself at home here. This is the main quest object objective. There we go. It's all washed away. Whoa! What a hunk. The sludge. I see you managed to wash it away. <laughs> that statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It is very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it up. Yes. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. Ah! That is right. Beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Killian swordsman. Whoa! It is simply wonderful, is it not? I would love to meet him someday. Say, you have a similar statue to the Hylian hero, similar eyes as well. Oh my, and you are also a Hillian. And the swordsman. Wait, could it be? Ah! Lunk? The swordsman of legends? Oh? Ahem. <laughs> please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Oh. oh, um, please accept my apology. Yes. Yes, please pardon our rudeness. Oh. I am quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Lunk. I have heard mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this domain. I am Prince Sedan's... Oh, forgive me. I am your best friend's fiancé. My name is Yona. <laughs> I am truly honored to have this opportunity to meet you, Sir Lunk. <laughs> what a chad. I had heard that you were... <laughs> True. <laughs> I had heard that you were missing along with Prince and Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? <sighs> to think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, and now you are traveling the kingdom to investigate. Mm. So your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain. Sure. In that case, feel free to investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fits. Oh, I have a lovely idea. <laughs> If you do not mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I am certain that he would be delightful to see you. Sidon can be found at Mifa Court, located at the peak of Ploimus Mountain. Ploimus. Nice. If you insist. Lady Yona, it is time. I fear we must be going now. Forgive me, Sir Link. I must be on my way. Ah, but if it pleases you, after you have met with Sidon, perhaps you can visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. I am determined to be of assistance to you as best I can, Sir Lunk. 
You see, Link with this headdress is Lunk. I simply can't stop sighing. I've been staring at the throne room, I mean, protecting the throne room for ages now. But these days I never catch sight of Prince Sidon. I know that he is doing some kind of important work at Mifa Court, but... <sighs> I'd even brave a bit of sludge for just a momentary peek at our prince. Uh, this is terrible. I require my wits about me in order to affect to effectively patrol, but my gills are in turmoil because of the sludge. And yet, I am hardened by the d domain statue, the turning tide being returned to its pristine state. It is truly so necessary for it to be standing proud and shining brightly in the middle of everything. <sighs> uh, I appreciate your concern. However, there is no time to dwell on my f misfortune. You see, our brave Captain Baz set out for the Skyview Tower to the west of the domain to investigate the sludge. Us soldiers who remain behind must vigilantly protect the domain. Err, uh, erp. What the hell's kind of sound is erp? Oh. Ah, greetings. Did you come to see Prince Sidon? Oh. If you're looking for Prince Sidon, he can be found at Mythicourt. And that place can be found at Plymouth Mountain. It is such an exquisite view. I've considered not telling lies about it. Although I suppose I just did. Hmm. I guess. Time to throw some stuff. I will massacre every single one. Nice arrows. Two bros chilling in a hot tub five feet apart because they are not gay. I am feeling much better than before. It is all thanks to Lady Yona. Er, ar. If only that sludge would stop falling. Thinking times of the essence. Ooh. The cliffs at the shore of Total Lake crumbled due to the upheaval. Miraculously, an ancient ruin appeared. Mm -hmm. I am pleased that Prince Sedan asked the Zoro historian Giotto to investigate. However, he is far too interested in satisfying his curiosity for those ruins and simply will not provide us with a report. <laughs> I understand that historians believe there is labor of passion. But sometimes that perspective is downright impractical. Never mind, my apologies. There is no point in troubling you. Huh. <sighs> Jada really is a problem. Is that so? Sounds like a you problem, not gonna lie. Splashy, splashy fruits. This fruit, the fruit cycle, splashy, splashy. <laughs> I 
I know, you know, that I'm not telling the truth. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> ah, it's one of the, uh... One of the money bags. Ow! Get wrecked. Wait, what? Huh? Get wrecked even harder. Splashy, splashy all over the place. My favorite part of Zoro's Domain is when they say it's splashing time and splashy splash you all over the place.
rocket. That was a rocket. Feeling when bright bloom seeds. <laughs> Let's see. Let's dazzle it up. <laughs> Lol. Get fucked. That's what that was for. Darn, I go up to the surface. Uh, cringe. That's not what I want to do at all.
Uh, balls. Oh, bless me. I bless you in the name of Lunk. In the name of the Lunker, and the Lunk, and of the Holy Lunk. Bitches. Oh, 
In a distant land across the distant sea. Sludged. arrows that I used. This 
splish splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> Sit on. <laughs> Wait, you're not sit on. Wow. It's the one and only thing. Welcome, is what I'd like to say. The thing is, we're conducting an investigation of the ruins here. Oh. If you're looking for Prince Sidon, he can be found at Mifa Court. That's on the peak of Plymouth Mountain. That's so. <laughs> How do they recognize Link with this headdress on? <laughs> ah, the battery's dead. Gotta plug it in. That's done down over there.
nice. I did it. I almost just gave myself a huge boo-boo. See the sound of that waterfall. Rock. <laughs> so then what you're telling me is that I can go up that waterfall. With a spear.
This much easier. Bridge percents. When have I ever spoken an untrue in my life? If you think about it, everything I say is always true. Security report. Day in and day out, the sludge never stops falling. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Prince Sedan, the water flowing into the domain has been kept somewhat clean. But the mountain path to Toto Lake and to Danma is completely covered in sludge. When you want to sneak over there, remember to bring lots of splash fruit. Hello. Ah! It's so nice to see you, Link. Welcome. Ah, there's Sedan. Are you looking for Prince Sedan? Hi! You'll find him over there. Intently focused on his important work. Mm -hmm. I am certain that if Prince Sedan knew you were here, he would be overjoyed to see you, Link. Now then, please go and see him right away. Hi. Sup, bitch. Oh, it's my final hands thing. Uh, huh? My final hand power. Yo, he grew. Is it really you? Huh. It's good to see you, my friend. <laughs> Link, it has been far too long. I should have that you had gone missing and was beside myself with this concern. Whatever could have transpired. Well, you see. No! To think something like that could have had taken place beneath Hyrule Castle. And afterward, you mysteriously woke on the skylands. Hmm. The sky. Could it be that the sky has executed everything after all? Ah, yeah. uh, my apologies. I have actually got, been wondering if these floating sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge. That is why I have tasked the Zora historian with investigating rune fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. Hmm. As for me, I am not at liberty to leave the spot at present, as I am uniquely qualified to steal the sludge here. Hmm. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zoro's domain. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. 
If I cease, then the slide water will flow into our beloved home, and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here, no matter what. Hmm. Say, Link. Does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands and the ruins? Uh. If so, perhaps you should go and speak with our historian Jado. His many years have been blessed with him with great wisdom. It is quite possible that he could provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Jado continuing his investigation at Total Lake. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friends. Visit me anytime you like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. Hi. <sighs> Crap. Frog. Crap. No crap, get back. Crab's gone. I missed it. What a failure. Skill issue. Frog. Crab and frog. Frog's gone. Sup. Ah. Wow. I was wondering who that might be, and it turns out to be another Link. <sighs> Look, do you see how much Plymouth Mountain has changed? It now enshrines a glorious statue of Mipha. She's supposed to after the Zora from here, just like she always did. The reason we can endure this sludge is because of everyone's efforts and also thanks to her kind protection. Ah, Mipha, best girl. First time I splishy splashy it. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. He had a shine. Hip. 
Dearest friend, is there anything you'd like to inquire about? Ask me whatever your heart desires, and I shall do as I can help. Mm. I have tasted the historian Jado with invest task the <laughs> I have tasked the historian Jado with investigating the rune fragments with any history books regarding the sky. I guess I love when he when he tastes Jado. <laughs> if you believe that Princess Selton's whereabouts are related to the floating islands or the ruins, speak with him. I believe Jado is currently conducting his investigation at Total Lake, which is northwest of here. This is truly a burden. I'm using my ability to manipulate water to separate the clean water from the sludge. If I cease, the dirty water will flow into the domain and cause everyone to suffer. Mm -hmm. That's why I cannot leave this place no matter what. Mm -hmm. Lydia, she is my dearest childhood companion, and much more. She is also my fiance, my intended, my bride to be. There was a time when we saw each other often, but life got in the way, as it does. Time has certainly gone away from us. Mm. I recall our childhood days with utmost fondness, and at last she has come to visit for the first time in a while. And yet, I must admit that I have been tad, I have been tad awkward around here. Due to the situation at hand, we have barely spoken since she arrived. She has seen immense help. She has been in immense health and easing our struggles here. I am so grateful for her kindness, mm -hmm. Link. It is brutal being unable to help you with your investigation. Still, please do let me know if you make any headway. Wait. Whoa. 
Wow, are you a fellow fishing enthusiast? Ha, <laughs> huh. no I'm not getting carried away. In any case, if you're looking to catch some fish, this is the best spot. That's all thanks to Prince Sedan, he's cleaned the water in Mifa Court, which is up above. Yep. Topaz. Yep. The Paz of Toe. Yeah. Rock. <laughs> Has of toe. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the Paths of Toe. <laughs> Customer. Welcome to Merit Mart. Why don't I tell you about our farm facilities? Our convenient general goods store, the Coral Reef, is open. Yes, even during these unusual times. Uh. Then there's our esteemed workshop, the Hammerhead, which is unfortunately closed as of now. Oh, and the one reading dusty old textbooks in the library is left La flat. There's no shopkeeper, but rather the royal security. Uh. Secretary. I'm showing customers around, except. Well, the only problem is that no one's coming around because of the sludge. Aww. That junk seems to always be on my mind these days. I actually wrote a song about the sludge. You wouldn't want to hear it, would you? <laughs> Calm down, cook! Great, then please listen up. Ahem! I present a work with lyrics by merit. 
Music by Merit, and performed by, you guessed it, me, Merit. Sludge Sludge is filling up the domain. It's thick and gross and on everything. Gills full of mud, fins thick with sludge. Even this song's kind of a trudge. It's the sludge! Ah. Kee hee! There you go. It actually cheered me up having listened to my song. Oh. Wait, we didn't lose heart because you had to listen to that, right? Um, if that's the case, sorry about that. <laughs> it's the best song in the world. Oh. 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 Hold on, check my dog, she's just barking. Be right back. I got myself some soda too. Oh, chili and rice. Um. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Ha ha ha. Is. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Did you mean me something? Oh. Oh. 
more. Money. Oh. a lot. First game I had like a couple hundred thousands rupees. <laughs> oh. Just because I just sold everything. <laughs> Who needs lists when you can just dodge everything? <laughs> oh. Imagine if I sold all my apples. <laughs> That'd be a lot of money. Haha, <laughs> 69. Aww. Yeah, but it's 200. I'll keep it. Oh! I get the stuff back easy peasy anyway, so... Oh, 
welcome. We have lost many customers because the sludge does not bode well for us. Amans, we are unsure where Sasan has gone off to. My daughter is quite attached to him, so we are all worried. He might recover in the sludge at this very moment. I certainly hope that is not the case. Ah, oops, I really must return to my work. Oh. Thank you for coming by. Oh. Enjoy your sleep as deep in the ocean here at the seabed inn. Will you be staying? Now nah, good. Hi! It's Lenny! Oh, um, I mean, hello, Link. I'm impressed you were able to make it to the domain. The roads are muddied up with the sludge, and the river is so dirty, we can't even swim in it. <laughs> you really are amazing, Lin uh, Link. You, um... <gasps> ah, enough already, I can't stand it. It feels so cold and natural to call you that, as though you were strangers. I thought it would feel weirder to call you the hero of the domain by some silly nickname I gave him as a child, but... <gasps> oh, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and call you Linny. Hey, Linny. Ah, uh, yes. That feels so much better. I'll call you Linny because you're more than just linked to me. I hope you'll figure me to use my old friend card for that. Anyway, you're amazing, Linny. Only you can make it to the domain under these conditions. I am so happy to see you again. Oh, oh I know. You should stay here. You will, won't you? As you can see, you're our only customer. So you've got the whole place to yourself. Try the water bed if you like. It's divine. Yeah, I'm good. Let's cook. What should I make? Apple. <laughs> Cold now. That's a lot of hearts. Five slots left. What should I make? <laughs> Old. Ah. What's up? I'll bear back. I'm being called. I suddenly locked the door. <laughs> What's 
some drumsticks. <laughs> a four-legged bird. Indeed. Gotta get that protein. Chicken. That's not meat, it's chicken. I mean, there's not really a difference, but. <laughs> Cleaning this completely, the sludge mixes into the water and it shreds. And if it enters your gills, it causes nothing but trouble. Your body breaks down until you can hardly move. Oh. I must work tirelessly so that our children live long enough to speak with true Zora el el eloquence. <laughs> we Zora tend to speak more eloquently after reaching middle age. I hope that when I reach a hundred years, I will also speak as beautifully as our elders. All this is too old fashioned. <laughs> Get it? Old? I truly have no flair for humor. I should have shown more restraints. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Frank really is ahead of his time. Bitches. What are you in my room? Fuck you, that's why. Phew. The sludge really is quite stubborn. I dearly hope our patients recover soon. Ah. Lady Yona, Sir Link is here at last. Oh! Oh, you really came. How fortuitous. <sighs> I was hoping to speak with you about an item that you entrusted the domain with repairing. Your Zora armor. Hmm. The repair is mostly complete, but it does require just one more thing. I need an ancient arowana. I can finish the armor right away if I can somehow require a skill from that fish. You have not seen s s ancient arowanas around lately. Nope. I have no idea where they could find. Hmm. Since they are used for making armor, down to the blast may know something about how to get one. If you find one, can you please bring it to me? Do that, and I shall fix your precious item as once and return it to your care. <laughs> as you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. I am certain it will prove useful to you. Please do not forget my request. Oh. Well, much less to Zora. Yum. I accidentally spilled some soda on my bed sheets. F. <sighs> 
this, so. <laughs> Erp. <laughs> what the hell kind of sound of is Erp? Ha! My impression of King Dorothean is really good, isn't it? He's on the debate right now, but... <laughs> Heh, never mind. I'm not gonna say. It's a big secret. <laughs> Tumbo, you're amazing. You sound just like King Dorothean. Hee <laughs> hee. Wahaha. Wait, was that one ha? Too many? Oh, this is hard. <laughs> My brother is super into pretending he's King Dorothean. He better not get carried away and say stuff he's not supposed to, though. I have come to the realization that dogs are cringe. On. Ah! Hey, what in the world? I thought that I could escape my restless thoughts by walking. Before I knew it, I was going around in circles. Oh, oh this spot? This is where Susan and I would come to talk for hours. <laughs> er, I'm sorry about you, Susan. <laughs> yes, Susan. He's my best friend and favorite person. He's also a highly unlike you. Oh. However, since the sludge showed up, he hasn't been showing up in the domain on the day he promised he always would. Nothing like this has ever happened before, so I'm quite worried. It's too dangerous to leave because everything is covered in sludge. Er, I guess I'll have to wait until you're a little bit longer. Definitely. I do indeed love Hunk Shumi Me. Ye, thank you. Arawana. In that case, I have heard whispers that was what you see has been spotted near Mifa statue, which is at the peak of Plymouth Mountain. This rare fish that has almost never been caught and was used in the distant past to repair the Zorma armor. Why has it appeared again? Is this too a result of evil?
Taylor's all this time.
beauty and the beast. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's really good. <laughs> nice. Ha. Mm. Oh, I get more.
got dead. Perfect English, by the way. Hello, Sir Lunk. Have you located an ancient Arowana by any chance? If only I had that fish's scale, I could fix your precious sword armor. Whoa! An ancient Arowana! With this, I can finally finish repairing your treasured Zora armor. Please wait just a short moment while I hurry to the workshop. I am so honored to reunite you with this item, dear Link. Yes, yes! Your armor is as good as new. Bum, ba -da -bum. Please take this along with our well wishes. <sighs> I am so happy that I was able to return it to this princely estate. It's a precious piece of armor after all. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Helion like you to climb waterfalls with ease. It will not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with sludge. <laughs> However, with your great skill, Sir Link, I am certain you will find a way up to the waterfall, clouded through it, though it is. Whoa! Please use this as well for your investigation to Mrs. Elt's whereabouts. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes! Yes, I've heard this many times. <laughs> Whoa! Yes, yes! Whoa!
not conduct the investigation more cautiously. Yep. Oh, oh dear. I certainly hope you did not overhear me uh, grumbling to myself like that. It's not as it sounds, really. Uh. Jido keeps interacting with dangerous things. When I object, he insists it's necessary for his research. That makes things quite difficult for me. As is my job to garden him. That is why I give in to moments of grumbling. The cliff crumbles as a result of the upheaval and that reveal these ancient ruins. Prince Sedan immediately ordered a thorough investigation. <sighs> Giotto is a historian, so this kind of thing is his specialty. He was terribly excited and is completely transfixed by the ruins. I see. <laughs> This signified presentation. Yes, the Rhine looks like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zor ancestors from the distant past and left us for us to discover. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, a droplet, the watery bridge. Hmm. Alas, I cannot decipher it. Hmm? Ah, Link. My apologies, I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made a monumental discovery. Ah! This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon the surface there appears to be tests regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I am unable to read it in its entirety. Ah! I deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tied.
Hmm. What if I splash it? Feels unbeatable.
I really thought we found two. Ah. Who knows how long it will take to open up all those one by one. My arms are tired just thinking about it. <sighs> and every single chest we open, we find the same thing. A great ruby. It's like they're messing with us. <clears throat> hmm? Shh, person, hush up. Ah? You again. You're the guy from before. Don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? Ah? What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You came here to, the, to this cave to find mystical treasure too. Uh huh? Prison! Don't just say that! Shh! Ah! Ah! I mentioned mystical treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Ah? Uh -huh. Don't get any bright ideas. If you're planning on swooping in and snagging it, think again. Ah! Uh -huh. Don't worry, Dak. With all those treasure chests in there, there's no way he'll ever find mystical treasure. We have nothing to worry about. Uh -huh. Hmm, you got a point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, listen up, now. You. You've got our permission to go into that cave. If seasoned treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not able about to fare any better. Uh. Not unless you've got a nose like a dog's and can sift out the treasure. Oh. That's a dat. Let's give a dog some food for, or something to get it to like us, and then it'll lead us to the treasure. Uh. I was being sarcastic, Preston. Uh. Sorry, Dak. Well, I mean. Bones, don't you?
Silver beef. in the bottle <laughs> the fire the fierce Davy sword
I see that I did get pretty lucky in how fast I found it. units. of the night. It's a fun, fun session. Thanks everyone for joining me. I'll see you next time. Probably going to stream on Thursday, 7 o'clock same time. Good night everyone.